Hey guys, today we'll be letting the cat out of the bag. She's out of the bag. Why are you in the bag? Why are you in the bag, Bobo? Get out of the bag. I'm going to reveal one of the secrets I have been most afraid to let loose. And the reason why I don't want to let people know is probably for very selfish reasons and I confronted those reasons and I was like why shouldn't I tell people like why shouldn't I let people know about this amazing product from this amazing company and make people happy I definitely favor community over competition when it comes to uh, us makers there's no reason why we should treat this like cutthroat like corporations giant corporations do we if we help each other out then we'll all profit we all gotta work together to topple over the crumbling towers of late stage capitalism hi would you like to tell the people about the resin none of you are supposed to be in here right now yeah it's an exception because we're letting the cats out of the bag so I found out about this resin by being a creepy internet stalker and googling and doing my research and I came across this company. I've been using this resin for years so I have gotten to know a lot of the advantages and downfalls of this resin so stay tuned because I want to let you know everything that I know about this resin before I reveal to you what this magic is. When you're mixing your resin, uh, make sure that you mix it forever and that you are scraping the bottom and the sides and try not to whip too much air into it because that is what forms the bubbles. Um, I can really feel it start to heat up right now. So I'm just gonna let it like sit for just a little bit and wait until most of the bubbles are dissipated. So my resin has been sitting for a little while and you might notice these little chunky boys in here and that does happen with some resins but don't worry it doesn't mean that it's ruined. Um, I have another video on my channel where it shows you how to deal with that type of situation and how it clog can clog your pumps don't throw away your pumps either there's a super easy solution to deal with that as well remember that it will cure and start to get thick so you don't want to run into a situation where it's too thick to work with so once it starts to get really hot that's when I'm like oh okay I need to start working with this fast if you still see some bubbles in there, don't worry, this product is pretty good about degassing on its own. I like to use the Fast Hardener, which cures to touch in 24 hours. And I use the Super Sap, which is what they recommend for jewelry applications. This is what it comes in, it comes in these jugs, and you wanna go for the bigger jugs because they have these handy dandy pump dispensers and if you're like me you hate measuring and making failing because your measuring is wrong because you're dyslexic and you hate math um, but these pumps make your life so much easier it's literally just two pumps of this and one pump of this and you mix it together and it's just as easy as that. Um, so definitely go for the pumps. If you don't want to get the bigger ones, you want to start off with the smaller ones, that's what I did to make sure that you are in fact going to invest in the product. Because it is a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. So the product is Entropy Resins and you can find them online and I just ordered them online. If you go to their website, you'll be able to get some more information about 
why they are the eco resin that they claim to be. Um, I really recommend checking it out. It is worth it to read about it so you can let your customers know about it as well. Uh, one word of caution. Uh, there was one time where I was mixing a large batch and the large batches can get kind of out of hand when it comes to the chemical reaction and the way that resin works is that it starts a heat reaction which by some science makes it harden so usually it'll start warming up and for some reason my this particular batch of resin was heating up so fast that my cup started smoking and started melting so resin is very fun and most times not super toxic but do be careful always wear gloves always wear a respirator um, whenever you're sanding or drilling please use you know eye protection and you want to wear a respirator 100 percent of the time because this can affect your health um, but that aside it's a great product definitely check it out I am NOT sponsored by them um, I just decided to let everyone know and use this amazing product and make beautiful things because I love doing it and I love sharing the joy of making stuff that other people can enjoy like this chain reaction of goodness so I want to pass that along to you guys and all that I ask is that you know maybe buy something small from my shops so I can pay off my student loans and keep doing what I love and it would mean so much to me if you could and if you can't afford it um, what means a lot to us small business makers is if you share if you share our social media you know tell a friend that is by far the greatest thing that we have going you know do it to all your maker friends you know just lift each other up put your money into your community into the people in your community you know the money that you spend on their pieces of jewelry or whatever they make goes directly to their bills their groceries their you know their debt paying off medical debt who knows so instead of maybe giving it to a billionaire corporation and you know funding their yachts or whatever you could be putting dinner on someone's table like how amazing is that so that's my lecture for the day um i hope this is something that you can really have fun with just be happy and make stuff because i know without crafts i don't know where i'd be so have an amazing time Bye.